أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله يا رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط ومستقيم صراط كل الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المقلوب عليهم أن نعاقم الله الكبير But God's grace we are here and we have another chance to redeem ourselves and get closer to our Creator and that should be our uh, primary goal in this life that uh, we should have um, this uh, huge blessing that we have today that, that we are getting uh, uh, ever closer to our God and, and so uh, we can actually nourish our souls and and become a better servant of God. So this is this is a huge blessing, and we are honored and humbled by making contact with Him, and He allows us to do this. And so as I, as I always say, that we have another chance today, and this is a brand new universe that we are in right now. It didn't exist yesterday, and so <clears throat> uh, and um, so God has put us here and has given us this honor that that we are witnessing this time and this place. And uh, he has uh, he has bestowed his generosity upon us, and and has given us another chance to redeem ourselves. Okay, so um, this is the time to uh, to make sure that we uh, we take advantage of this opportunity, and we are um, in this position today that God has put us in, and this is an honor and a blessing upon us, and uh, so. Uh, we must, uh, as I said, uh, be grateful to the source of this uh, huge blessing that we have. Um, this is not by accident. This is divine design and providence. And so he has chosen us today to be the recipient of this uh, honor. And uh, so we have to uh, return in kind and, and respond in kind and, and be grateful to, to the source of um, and that uh, God alone is God alone and no one else. Uh, <clears throat> so <clears throat> today when, when, when we read the Quran in uh, so many places, God is saying that you shall prostrate to God. And uh, <clears throat> um, this, is, this is something that, that we have to remember. The 19th verse that was revealed, okay? The 19th verse that was revealed is... Uh, let me just go ahead and find it here. There it is. Oops, that's the wrong one. And okay, uh, let's just go to our website, and we are going to. I don't want to cooperate today, so what we'll do is we'll close this and. Uh, <clears throat> Oh. Okay, uh, so <clears throat> first, I'm sorry, the 19th verse that was revealed is uh, 96, 19, okay, so go there, and <clears throat> there it is, and <clears throat> Um, this is this is uh, God is telling us that um, um, a person who is who is trying to make people not to worship God, and so and God is warning this person, and this is um, um, start with. Um, Verse 9 said, Do you see the one who forbids a servant of God from praying? Okay. So can you imagine this is this is actually this these are the few verse verses that were revealed. Okay. So let me just go back and read it. It's only 19 verses. So I'm just going to read it. <clears throat> Bismillah Rahman Rahim. It says, Read in the name of your Lord who created. I create a human being from an embryo. 
read your Lord and your Lord the most honorable. The one who teaches how to write. Okay. He teaches the human being what he does not know. We don't believe these things. Okay? We keep saying, yeah, we, but we have to go to school and do this, maybe to a better school. If we go to a better school, we're going to be learning more. All kinds of stuff comes in there, and we do not believe in these. Then we become unhappy. We're not happy anymore. Because we throw these things behind our backs. If I go to MIT, I'll be better than somebody who goes to the state, you know, in general name for the state universities. Okay, I learn more over there. We don't believe in these. We say we believe in him, but we really do not believe in him. Okay. God says, the one who teaches how to write. Do you think you, you went to school and that's how you learned to write? Okay. Who was the one who taught you how to do it? God is the one who did. A lot of people go to school. A lot of people graduate even without even being able to read or write. <clears throat> okay. Then God says, He teaches the human being what he does not know. Okay. So who teaches you? You go to school because that's that's how you learn what you do not know, or God is the one who teaches you what you do not know. Was was Einstein taught in school about the theory of relativity? He went to school, he got a PhD from some school. Okay. Did he learn that at that school, the theory of relativity at that school? Okay. As I said, we don't believe these things. So we think that if we put our kids in some schools that are better, so to speak, okay, and we keep worrying about that, and we forget these verses. Totally forget them. And we ignore them, which is even worse. <laughs> Hello. Uh, this is his wife. Don't be smart. She's in a meeting. But it's not on, not on campus. <coughs> okay. I'll go do that. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm sorry we were interrupted by a phone call. Um, <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So then God is telling us here, after that he says, absolutely, absolutely, indeed the human being is always rebellious. Okay, so we got our answer right there. We are. We don't believe in those verses. Okay. And then it says, indeed, to your Lord is the final return. Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, he sees himself as in no need, in no need. Okay? Indeed, to your Lord is the final return. We don't ask God, okay? There's a verse in the Quran. It's chapter uh, 11, 114, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, God says, ask God. Lord, increase my knowledge. Okay. And God listens to you and he increases your knowledge. Okay. Indeed, to your Lord is the final destiny. You see, the one who forbids a servant of God from praying. Why are you doing Juma prayers? This is nonsense. 
Okay. Yom HaPraise means congregational praise. You can do it any day you want to. You don't have to do it on Fridays. <coughs> okay? So anything that, that forbids a servant of God from praying to God, they do. Okay? And then God says, is it not better if he were guided? So that means this person is misguided. Or advocated righteousness? Do you see the one who rejects and ignores? So we read these verses. Okay. Tomorrow we're in the same shape. We're worried about this thing, worried about that thing, all kinds of stuff. We don't still believe these things that God is telling us. <clears throat> so, does he not realize that God can see? It's people who are forbidding you from praying, don't they see that God can see? Don't they realize that? Absolutely, unless he refrains, another chance. God is giving another chance. Refrain now. Okay, that's enough. You said enough. Okay. We will indeed take him by the forelock. The forelock of a liar, a wrongdoer. Okay. Therefore, let him call for help. No help. Okay. We will summon the, God, summon the goddess of help. This is the very first surah that was revealed. Okay. I'm reading this now, 1400 years later, okay. and still it's coming as a shock to a lot of people. We haven't improved. It's the same way. We make life hell for ourselves. Okay? That's what we do, because we, as I said, we don't believe in the content of these verses, in the validity and the veracity of these verses, we do not believe. Okay? Then, verse 19, it says, okay, absolutely do not obey him and fall prostrate and come closer. Okay? That's why we are here today and we are honored. This is an honor for us that we are here today. That God allowed us to be here and make contact with him. Okay? As I said, have things improved? I hope so. Okay. This was a shock for those people who thought that they were doing everything themselves. Okay. We either accept these at this face value or we have doubts. God says in chapter 49, he says, absolutely have no doubt. If we have doubts, then we are not going to learn. So we have to come to some kind of agreement with our own self that today, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go along with this. I am going to do my contact prayers. I'm not going to listen to the naysayers. Okay? And I have to be very careful that this moment that we have right now is an honor for us. This is a unique honor that God allows us to do this. And so we have to take advantage of this. And be grateful to him for what he has given us. Okay. And believe exactly in what he says. Without buts, if, and and. Okay. If we do that, then we are going to regress. We are not going to advance. We are going to regress. We don't understand things. Things become too complicated for us. Life is going to be an unhappy life. Okay? As I said, life is only good if it is with God. If you don't have life with God, it's not going to be happy. It's going to be a miserable life. 
Okay, because you keep disobeying his commandments. Okay. Then as I said, you know, you do all kinds of other things to make yourself happy. But that doesn't work that way. Contentment and fulfillment and all of those things that we, you know, we sort of cherish and are after all the time is coming from being with God. Security, safety, all of those things coming from being with God. If you disobey his commandments, you are going to suffer. And that's what God is telling us. Okay. So I'm going to stop here and we'll finish this unit. Allah Kabir.